Hi, Claudia. Hi, teacher. ¿Me escucha bien, Claudita? Eh, un poco, teacher, es que estoy de mi cel porque estoy en el trabajo. Ah, ok, no se preocupe, tranquila. Me está de oyente, por lo menos, no sé, un, un rato. Vaya, sí, no se preocupe, me avisa. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Hi, Ana. Hi, teacher. Hi, Anita. How are you? I'm fine. Hoy se voy a participar un poco mejor, teacher. Mándeme. Hoy se voy a poder participar un poco mejor. Lo que pasa es que como voy para la semana de inventarios fiscales en la oficina. Ajá. Ha estado complicado. Sí, le ha tocado pesadito, Anita. <risa> sí, pero ya ahorita ya me pongo en pintor. Súper bien. Super bien. Lo bueno es que ya casi terminamos, Anita. Uy, sí, más que ayer como el problema del audio también no lograba hablar, conectarlo en el momento. Pero creo que sí ya está porque no ha dado problema. Sí, verdad, eso, le, eso quería preguntarle. ¿Todo bien ahorita? ¿Se apaga el micrófono o la deja volver a entenderlo, verdad? Sí, sí. Ah, bueno, sí, ahorita sí, no tengo problema. Uh -huh. Vaya, súper. Sí, a saber qué habrá pasado ayer, la verdad que no. No sé. <risa> Right. Thank you, Está bien, Anita. Thank you. Ya vamos a empezar. Vamos a esperar unos, un minutito o dos para empezar y ya van a empezar a ingresar los demás classmates. Sí, sí. So, Ana, do you like you work? Uh, where is your office, Ana? Eh, de hecho, yo me mantengo en los dos centros comerciales, en galerías como en la Gran Vía. Ok. Uh -huh. Por ahí la vamos a llegar a conocer. <risa> ah, sí, de <dele>, dicho. <risa> sí, that's nice. Very good. Hi, Dani. Hi, Oscar. I can use the microphone. Mándeme, Oscar. I can yeah, use the microphone. Yeah, very good. <risa> I don't know what happened, pero hoy creo que no hay ningún problema. Lo puede volver a activar, ¿verdad, Oscar? Yes. Okay, very nice. <laughs> All right, solo denme un segundito por aquí. Wait. All right, very good. So, Dani, I see you are at the office. Yes, teacher. Uh, this is my third night. Okay. So, this three is the last one. For three the... or four. Tomorrow is my last night. Ah, tomorrow. All right. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. What time do you finish? In the morning? Uh, yes, 7 a.m. My goodness, Dani. It's 12 hours. 12 hours. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Now, Do you get to sleep a little bit or nothing? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, two hours. Okay. One and one and a half hours. I can I can sleep. Okay. It's not it's not necessary. You awake? No. Uh, yes. Uh huh. Awake. Awake. Yes. Not necessary. Awake. Uh, 12 hours. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yes. I see. <laughs> But the good thing is that you like your job, Danny. <laughs> yes, I like. It. <laughs> I like it. Very nice. Very good. Hi, Domingo. Hi, Ever. How are you? Domingo, Hi, Domingo. How are you? No me oye, Domingo. Hi, Domingo. 
Hi, teacher. ¿Qué le pasa, Domingo? Are you tired? Uh, uh, es... Ay, ¿cómo es cansado? Uh, se me olvidó. Tired. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're tired. All right, that's okay. You're tired. Yes, I can see your face tired today. All right, Ever, how was your day today at work? I I want the the day I hope Seria. Uh huh. Is hope this? I might work. Okay. All right. Very good. Ever, how was your day today at work? Good evening, teacher. Like a domingo. Very stressful, so tired because it's the end of the month, and yeah, yes, that tomorrow is most that will be most uh, tranquilo, like calm, yeah, More yes, relaxing. okay. I, I, I hope, I hope because oh. <laughs> that will be, yes. Okay, let's hope it will be. Very nice. Hi, Mariano. Dios mío, Mariano. Hi, teacher. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Mariano. I'm good. I'm very good. De repente ya no nos pone la cámara, Mariano. Como no, teacher, siempre la pongo. Ah, mentira. <laughs> no, es que ayer no. Ayer tuve problemas con el Inter y estaba con mis datos. Ah, okay, all right. Yeah. No, por eso le decía, de repente me sacaba, no sé si, si a usted le sale que entro y salgo, entro y salgo. Sí. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that's okay. Very good. It happens. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Tenemos también a Bismar, pero qué alegre que hace por aquí. Jorgito, Debbie. Debbie, ya no, no nos dejó verla, Debbie. ¿Qué le pasa? Hola. Hola, Hola teacher. Bismar. Hola, ¿cómo está? Bien, bien, estoy, estoy desde el teléfono y no me deja encender la cámara. Bye, Aries. No se preocupe, Bismara. It's okay. That's fine. Gracias. Excellent. All right, guys. Very good. So we're going to continue. Igual para los que pueden encender su cámara después. Uy. Eh, pues, please do so. All right. So we're going to continue with the last unit, guys. We have this four days, all right, and that's free, I mean, and after that we have Monday, de la otra semana, eh, pero por el inconveniente que yo tuve, que solo dimos 38 minutos, all right, la semana, ¿se acuerdan del viernes que se me fue la luz? All right, entonces vamos a reponer. ¿Cuándo, la... piche? Oiga, Mariano, quizás ese ¿Cuándo? no se conectó. Vamos a reponer mm. esta hora y media el martes próximo. O sea, lunes hubiésemos terminado, pero vamos a terminar martes con la ventaja que vamos a, vamos a terminar a las nueve y media, no a las diez. All right. Así es que I'm sorry for that, but that was something that it just, I couldn't do. Teacher. Hola. ¿Cuánto tiempo es ese? Hora y media. Hora y media. ¿Y por qué no lo distribuimos en lo que falta de los días? Faltan cinco días. No, a ver, no. Diez minutos. Tiene que ver que eso no nos es posible hacer. Tenemos que recuperar <risa> entera la jornada en, el, en un día. Dice, pero no está, no está labrado en piedra. Podemos escalarlo, no sé. <risa> All right, yes. Ahí sí ya se sale de mis manos y de hecho... Eh, pues bueno, pero esperemos a ver qué nos dicen. Entiendo yo que sí vamos a hacer así. El, el, terminaríamos martes 7 en lugar de lunes 6 con la hora y media que nos hizo falta. Hora 28 minutos, oh. una cosa así es. Eh. No, 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 no va a ser tanto. A ver, sí. Y después va, va a entrar a una pausa, no se preocupe. Ok, perfecto. <risa> yes. no, no vaya a resolver el problema muy rápido. La encuesta. <risa> <Okay>. <risa> Yes. All right. A ver, Rafael. Hi, Trini. Ya los veo. Qué alegre verlos, de verdad. All right. Very nice, guys. So let's continue here with what we started yesterday. Ayer nos quedábamos en esto. We finished this. Yesterday we were talking about the, let's see, the product, the cost of it, but risk and hazards. All right. And we were talking about some risk and hazards that we have in our jobs, all right? Algunos de ustedes me daban ideas ayer de los riesgos that you may have at your workplace, 
All right, but some of you guys did not tell me. A ver, Trini. Cuando hablamos, when we talk about your job, Trini, you work at a school. What can be a hazard in your in the school? What can be a hazard for a teacher? Um, let a child fall and hit. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. between partner and fair bullying. Okay. All right. Very good. Anything else, Trini, or only that? Um, le digo todas las partes de que hicimos ayer. Si usted tiene más hazards ahí que nos pueda compartir, y si no, it's okay, it's fine. And then, hazard substances, um, disinfectant. Okay. Electricity and fire hazard. Okay. Installation defect, mm -hmm. improvement of the student or the staff, uh, sleep, sleep, and feel risk. Okay. The stand, when it rains, the field becomes smooth. The student by running the car fan or a Okay. Right. Very good, Trini. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Um. I think we, we talked about it enough yesterday, so we're going to move on here. So I'm gonna share again. Okay. Uh, remember the conversation yesterday? Did we finish this last last questions? Sí, verdad? Yes. Yes, you worked on groups. Y luego vieron estos estos videos, cierto? Yeah. All right, okay, so let's continue then here with unit four, page 34, exercise 34. I mean, exercise four, sorry. Uh, is this building vocabulary? All right, let's see. Ever, solo regáleme la lectura de las letras azules, no de todo lo demás. Okay, number one, risk. Number two, hazard. Number three, Exposure. Exposure, number, very good, yes. Number four, safety measure. Yes. Number five, irreversible right. damage. Uh -huh. Damage. Number six, precautionary. Precautionary, yes, precautionary. Very good, thank you. A ver, uh, Debbie, regáleme la, la lectura de las tres primeras que están en negrita. Consequence. Aim and procedure. Okay. Consequence or damage that is so serious, then it's impossible. Impossible to un, un, undo. Undo. That's very nice. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a to protect someone, something from a hazard, hazard, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Hazardous. Hazardous. Hazardous situation. Yes. Procedure. No, proceed. Proceed. Sí, ¿verdad? Procedure. Proce yes, procedure. Procedures to prevent something dangerous from hap happening. Excellent. Very nice. And Mariano, can you read the last three? Likelihood, unprotected, and potential. Like, likelihood of harm in a specific circumstance. Yes. And protect from something dangerous or unpleasant. Uh -huh. Potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So here we have consequence. La primera, consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. Aimed, cuidado con las que terminan con ed. Aimed to protect someone or something from hazardous situations. Procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. 
likelihood of harm in specific circumstances unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant potential to be dangerous and to cause harm all right eso tenemos ahí ya vamos a irlo, uh, ya lo vamos a trabajar acá all right so we have this definitions and we have the terms and definitions or the meanings after that we have number five all right y eso lo vamos a hacer después de tomar la asistencia it says brainstorm examples of workplace hazards related to each of the categories in the chart. For example, we have office hazard, electricity and fire hazards, hazards and risk as como el tema, hazardous substances, slips, trips and falls risks. All right. So this is what we're going to be working on. Ya les voy a explicar qué vamos a hacer. I'm just going to take the first attendance. All right. Okay, so here we have Avner. Hold on, didn't have it open yet. Wait, guys, it's just loading up here. All right, Avner Eli Fuentes Flores. Avner, Avner is not here. All right, um, Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present, teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Kevin Esteban Mejíbar Me Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Eh, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Thank you, Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Miss. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you, Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Thank you. All right, let me just see something here. All right, perfect. Okay, so what are we going to do right now, guys? And I hope everybody can join their groups. No sé si Jorge y Sal y Chamba están fuera. Eh, que no pueden participar, igual me van diciendo en su momento. All right, so what are, what are we going to do? We're going to go back here, all right, to this page, page 34, exercise four and five. Lo que vamos a hacer es lo mismo, vamos a leer risk y buscamos la, the meaning of the term. So what is risk for you? Is a likelihood of harm in specific circumstances? Is risk potential to be dangerous and to cause harm? I don't know, all right? So you, you in your group decide what is the definition or what is the meaning of this term. When you finish that, we're going to work on exercise five in la misma, in la mismo tiempo, all right? So here we have brainstorm examples of workplace hazards related to each of the categories in the chart. Aquí tenemos four categories. Tenemos office hazards, electricity and fire hazards, hazardous substances, slips, trips, and false risks. All right. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? Por cada category that we have here, I want you to write three examples. ¿Qué posible riesgo can happen in an office? Three. Electricity and fire hazards. All right. What are some examples? Por ejemplo, quemaduras podría ser una. Uh, I don't know what else. All right, so you think about it, okay? Uh, substances, de, 
Agnesco, all right, chemicals, or I don't know, like some beverages. I don't know, you think about it. Cuando hablamos de slips, es de, que se desliza uno, cuando uno se desliza, se tropieza o se cae. ¿En qué circunstancias? Por ejemplo, a wet floor, that could be a slip. All right, so three for each category, okay? Do we understand what we're going to do? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. All right, very good, excellent. So, los que se pueden ir a los grupos se pueden, se van a ir y los que no, no hay ningún problema, se quedan por acá. Hi, Carla, Vanessa, hello. Carlita, estamos working on page 34, exercise 4 and 5. Y ahorita nos vamos, llegó a tiempo, nos vamos a los groups to work on those two exercises. De acuerdo. Igual van a haber palabras que usted pueda que no entiendan. La pueden buscar en Google. O si no, nos esperamos al regresar. All right, to ask me. Either or. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to open it like that. Ok, guys, let's go. Igual los compañeros que no pueden ingresar se quedan por acá, no hay problema. Y los demás, you can go.
Hi, Oscar. Hello, teacher. Hello. I am alone in my group. What are you working on? Did you go in? I think I thought you didn't. No, no, I have nothing. Uh, uh, no problem. I take my diner. Ah, time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Claudita is driving and Miss Mar is also driving, I think. So, yeah. All right, but we're uh, closing the groups right now, anyway. At least you enjoy your meal. That's good. Okay. Everybody's coming back now. All right, guys, Danny, what about the, um, the terms? Nope. Sorry, I couldn't find it here. Okay, what about, a, what would be cons, I mean, what would be risk, Danny? Risk, uh, risk is likelihood of harm in a specific circumstance. Likelihood of harm in a specific circumstances. All right, very good. Excellent. Yes, yes very nice. What That's about great. Thank you. two? Um, Ever, what do you have for number two? Hazard. What is hazard for you guys? For us, hazard is likelihood of harm in a specific circumstance. Actually, that's risk. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that one, uh, likelihood of harm in a specific circumstances, that is risk. All right. Then, so, so potential to be dangerous. All right, so what would hazard be then? Aha. Uh -huh. So hazard potential to be dangerous and to cause harm? Okay, this is hazard. That would be hazard, yes. Okay, in likelihood, uh, that would be risk. Yes. Perfect. Okay, thank you. All right. Sure. Thank you. Mariano, what do you have for a number exposure? Exposure. I'm protect from something dangerous or unpleasant. Excellent. I'm protected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Excellent. Very nice. Let's see. What about Carla Vanessa? Uh, next one, safety measure. I meant to protect someone or something from a hazard situation. No. No. No, that wouldn't be that one. What about anybody else? Safety measure, what do you guys think it is? Teacher is consequence or damage, then no. No. Uh, mm. procedure to prevent something Excellent. from happening. Procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Yes, that is safety measure. All right, una medida de seguridad al final. All right, yes. What about irreversible damage? Anybody that has that one? Maybe one. Or, okay. of, or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. That's right, Anita. Very good. Yes. All right. So we have consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. Very nice. All right. So the last one, uh, precautionary, what would be that one? Anybody that wants to do that one? Maybe Domingo, Walter? Awesome. And to protect someone, something from a hazardous situation. Yes, aim to protect someone or something from hazardous situation. Yes, excellent. Thank you, guys. All right. Very nice. So, al final nos quedó 
como que fuéramos de arriba para abajo, 5, 6, 4, 1, 3, and 2 would be the last one. All right? Now, um, here, we're going to share this here. I just want you guys to go with me here. We have this one, brainstorm examples of workplace hazards related to each of the categories in the chart. Let me see, teníamos office hazards. Hablemos de office hazards. Let me see, group number, hold on guys. Group number one, Mariano, <laughs> lo siento Mariano. Mariano and Domingo, I'm sorry, office hazards. All right, tell me one example of office hazard. Uh, to twist an ankle teacher. Excuse me? Oh, to twist an ankle. Yes, all right. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see, group number two, Ever and Walter, office hazard. Teacher, we're putting back fatish because the poster. Sorry, Ever? Uh, the back fatish. What is that? It's like a, we use dolor de espalda for o, o fatiga de la espalda por la postura. Yes, yes, yes. Dígalo otra vez, a ver, perdone. Back fatish. Oh, yes. O fatig fatigue. All right, back fatigue or back ache. Yes, very good, ever. And Walter, very nice. Um, Oscar, usted estaba solo, but can you think of any, any office hazard, Oscar? A strain. Okay. All right, very good, yes. Let me see. Um, Danny, Debbie, and, oh, bueno, Jorgito no está adentro, pero igual. Danny and Debbie, what do you have for office hazard? Um, Staple the finger. finger. <laughs> yeah. Is Staple the finger. Oh my goodness, ouch. All right, <laughs> All right, very good. Number five. Carla, Michelle, Anita, and Trini. What do you have for office hazard? Nosotros pudimos fall from a ladder. Okay, yes, all right, yep, okay. Uh, and we had Carla, Vanessa, which group were you in? And number six with Rafael. Okay, all right, okay. So what did you guys come up with with office hazard? A uh, heavy lifting. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, uh -huh. In a proper workstation. Yes, that's right. Very good. Excellent. All right. What about electricity and fire hazards? All right. No vamos a ir uno por uno. Vamos a escuchar tres grupos with that one. Electricity and fire hazards. Who wants to share? Fire in crash. Excuse me, Danny? Uh, fire in trash. Fire in? In trash. In the bucket, in the basurero. La basura. Okay. La basura. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Very good. Anybody else with electricity and fire? Bar. Excuse me? Bar. Okay. Yes. All Bar right. skin. Okay, very good. One more. Respiratory problems, teacher? Yes, could be. Because like if you inhale something that is like like smoke or something, all right, from fire. Okay. What about the other one? We had hazardous substances. Examples from that one? Poison. Okay, yes, poisoning for sure. Any other? Intoxication for chemical smells. From chemical smells, yes, okay. Allergies. Yeah, yeah, maybe like respiratory allergies from some substances that are very strong, right? Okay, very good, and uh, let's see. And then we had here, slips, trips, and falls risks. All right, examples of that one. Falling down the, the stairs. 
Yeah, falling down the stairs. Yes, another one. Brad. Excuse me, Ana, and then Van uh, Carla Vanessa. Yes, Anita? Crack. Like quebrarse. Oh, like breaks. Like when you break something, like your your bones, you mean? Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah, cracks and breaks. Yes, very good. Carla Vanessa, another one? Uh, when they don't put a signal of wet floor. Yes. You can split and you can break your bones. That's right. Or yeah, yeah, it can be very serious. All right, very good. Excellent, guys. Very nice. I'm going to share this with you. Uh, probably you have seen this before or maybe not, but that's okay. I just want to share some here that they are very common, especially in an office space. Okay, so let's check this right now, guys, here. All right, so here we have this picture and this says, how many hazards can you find? All right, there are many, many hazards in this office. This is an office. Y cualquiera podría pensar in an office, there is nothing dangerous happening, but that is not true. All right, so here, for example, let's look at number one. A ver, ¿quién me lee number one? Can you guys see it? O lo hago más grande. Más grande. Okay. Más grande, okay. <laughs> All right, vamos a más grande, pues. Just give me a second. Mire que mis lentes solo son para el reflejo, no son. All right, sorry. Okay, a ver, yo creo que está más grande. Um, Debbie, ah, pues me va a leer usted, Debbie, la primera. Oye. Okay. Pero Debbie, pruebe dándole como que le da zoom así a una foto. Porque yo sí lo eh, hago. Sí, sí, tra sí lo traté, pero no se pudo. No se puede. Ah, ok. Ah, ok, hoy sí ya. Hoy sí, ok, eh, Debbie, uh -huh. number one. What would be number one? Uh, the pronunciation teacher, the, the first. Uneven. Uneven. ¿Cómo? Uneven. Uneven floor, carpeting, uh, trips, hazard. Excellent, yes, uneven. Uneven quiere decir que no está en el uneven. mismo nivel. ¿Verdad? Que está desnivelado, de hecho. Uneven floor. Carpeting. Uneven. Right? Entonces, es como que la alfombra está otro. Se levantó. All right, very good. Okay. Number two, Daniel, can you read number two? Files on floor. Yes, files on floor, like papers and stuff. Walter, can you find number three? Uh, where, 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 where? Oh, uh, yeah. Sitting at desk, yes. repetitive yes. Mo movements. Excellent. Sitting at desk, repetitive movements. All right. It's like hacer lo mismo every single day. That is like a potential hazard. Very good. Um, Carla Vanessa, can you read number four? Boxes and files stuck at too high. Yes, boxes and files are stuck. Too high, ¿verdad? Es como que gran torre que hacemos de, de cajas or something, so that can be dangerous. Anita, can you find number five? Yes. Uh, overloading trolley to move files. Yes, overloading trolley to move files. Excellent. Let's see. Next one, number six. Oscar, can you find number six? Printed places on floor instead. Of on table. Okay, thank you. Printer placed on floor instead of on table. All right. Allá está la impresora en el suelo. All right, very nice. Let's see. Domingo, can you find number seven? Ahí está Domingo, cerca de la cuatro. <laughs> uh, core. On groups. On ground, yes. Cord on, Car on ground. Stable, ¿verdad? Que están así como en el suelo. And you can trip. All right, very nice. Thank you. Ever, can you find eight, please? Workstation, ergonomics, layout of desk. Yes, all right. The, 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 the layout of the desk, of the chair, the right position of everything. Thank you. Mariano, number nine. Rocking 
on chair. On yeah, chair. walking on chair. Cuando están así como balanceándose en la silla. All right. You can go backwards. All right. You can hit your head or you can hit your back. Okay. Number 10, Chamba. Aprovechando que ya lo vemos. Can you read number 10, please? Okay. Person carrying too much at once. Yes. Person carrying too much at once. All right. Very good. I think so. Uh, number 11. Thank you, Chamba. Let's see. Vanesita Reyes. Can you read number 11? Boxes blocking fire exit. Yes, boxes blocking fire exit. All right. In this case, for example, eh, we're talking about boxes, but it can be anything. De repente puede haber un escritorio, ¿verdad? O un montón de sillas en la, en la eh, puerta de salida or something. That's not, that's not good. All right. So there are many potential hazards in an office that can happen. All right. Antes de, de seguir con las otras imágenes, let's see. Can you guys think about your office, your space where you work? En el caso de Trini, in the school. All right. Everybody think about your work. Do you find one hazard uh, situation in your office? Debbie dijo, yes. What is it, Debbie? Que hay en su office. O que no hay en su office. Mm -hmm. Es que, no sé cómo explicarle, bueno, es que hay una, se llama laminadora, es una, ponen los rollos de vinil y son para laminar los viniles, pero eh, a veces la mueven y un, ya van como unas tres ocasiones que la dejan muy salida y me he golpeado. Ok, so es que... Y me, hasta me he quedado con moretón así. Pues. All right, ok, so is a machine, Debbie? Yes. Okay, so they move the machine and then you hit yourself. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's that's a hazard. Very good. A ver, ever in your office, can you think of one potential hazard? Donde usted está, exactamente donde usted está. Uh -huh. Exactly donde yo estoy. Eh, tengo el error de sentarme igual a, al, al que estaba ahí. En lo que... <laughs> Entonces me sentí identificado, ¿verdad? Con el que estás. Entonces. The rocking chair. Rocking chair, yes. My goodness, Ever. All right. That can be very dangerous. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's see. Oscar, in your office, exactly where you are, Oscar, do you find a potential hazard? The potential hazard may be yeah, sit down back to back on the other people. Oh. And the chair, como dice, topa. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Entonces, cuando uno, se hace para, cuando uno se hace para atrás, entonces puede chocar. Ok, all right. So there's no enough space, Oscar. Yes, it's a few space. Yeah, a little space. Oh, ok, I see. Walter, what about in your office? Exactly where you are, I mean, Walter. Um, uh, sometimes I may mistake to run in the ladders. <gasps> no, what? Then why? <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, that's a big mistake. Let's see. Carlita, Carla Vanessa. Sorry, Carla Vanessa. Can you think of where exactly where you are, um, Carla Vanessa? Yo sé que allí puede haber muchísimos, but where you are exactly, any potential hazard? Um, in my office, when we have to get out to the office, uh, there is a um, a part that we have to, to move and they are driving with boxes. So you have to, to see all the direction. <laughs> but you don't have to be don't, don't get shot. Oh my goodness. Okay, so they don't run over you. Okay, wow. Okay. Trini in this in in the classroom where you are, Trini. Do you have a potential hazard in the classroom? My child is of plastic. Ah, plastic chair. All right, so you can have a back pain. Yes, of course. Very good. Okay. Chamba, in your office. The potential hazard, maybe we have only 
one emergency exit. Oh no. And <laughs> it's the same uh, in you entrar, entry, entry. Uh -huh. It's the same. The exit is the same, the entry. Oh my goodness, Chamba. All right. O sea que... A big race. Uno van a salir y otro van a volver a entrar, Chamba. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh no, Tamba. Very good. Okay, let's see. Mariano, in your office, potential hazards. Uh, in my case, you share in my back to my and back to my share my chair. Mm -hmm. you have a uh, windows, but the the I doors of the windows open from my <laughs> I don't know. And is easy to blow my head in the door. Oh my goodness, Mariano. All right, you need to be careful. Okay. Yes. Right. Oh no. Let's see. Domingo, post, uh, possible hazards exactly where you are. Hi, Avnet. Hi, how are you today? <laughs> Thank you for joining class. Very good. All right. Domingo, possible hazards in your office. Oh my. In my world no, I no office, you know, are the trouble, uh, are the workplace. Okay. It's, it's, well, it's um, just, um, in um, my company uh -huh. is obstacles in the island. Okay. Sure as, sure as roll, rolls, I say rolls, rolls, rolls. Rocks, uh, rocks of the fabric. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm okay. Busy. I get it. Okay, very good. Anita, what about in your office or in in this the space area where you work? Anita. All right. Uh, let's see. Daniel, I know. I know that in your um place of work you have many um hazard like potential hazards but can you tell us one for example yes, if you are yeah. right now is there any potential hazard in the office that you are right now okay this is not my office uh this is another office okay. but my office my <laughs> office is a container a conditioner to 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 uh, office Okay. Is when, when I go out from, uh, to my office, is different different levels of ground. Oh, and so I, I can I yes I can I can hit I can I can slip. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, Daniel. All right. Okay. Uh, Vanessa Reyes, can you tell us like one possible or potential hazard that you may have in your office? Mm, a potential hazard in my office is boxes blocking the door and extinguisher. 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 Como? Extinguisher. Extinguisher. Excellent. Yes. Yes, Vanessa. Ah, okay. <laughs> this <one. laughs> Okay. Yes. All right. Interesting. So. As we can see in many different, um, in different offices, of course, we may have different potential hazards. All right, very good. Let's see here. I'm gonna keep on sharing my screen. Okay, so we saw this one already. All right, algún vocabulario en esta que necesitaban saber o todo está claro in the images? Everything okay? Yes. Overloading, teacher. Ah, uh, overloading is cuando le pone demasiada carga. Sobrecarga. Over, sobrecarga. Uh -huh. Y trolley, por ejemplo, la número 5 dice overloading trolley es la misma, creo que usted estaba viendo. Trolley es ese uh -huh. carrito, ¿verdad? All right, that's a trolley. All right, anything else, guys, from this picture? Or. Cord es alambre o cable. Bueno, más más que alambre, cable. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Let's go to the other one. These are examples of 
um, the hazardous substances, all right, some of them may be explosive, all right, flammable or flammable, all right, que obviamente eh, se encienden, ¿cómo es? Se, ah, oh, they, they lit on fire. <laughs> eh, Incendia. Yeah, thank you. Oxidizing, all right, que son sustancias que nos ayudan o que ayudan para el óxido. All right, oxidizing compressed gas, corrosive, toxic, irritant, and environmentally damaging. Mira, ahí está el pececito muertito. All right, and health hazard. All right, so all of this depends, obviamente, it depends on the substance. Some of them can be explosive, some of them can be flammable, corrosive, toxic, environmentally damaging. All right, so we have all these pictures or images that tell you that they are potential hazards or possible hazards that you may have. Okay, now you have this one here. La letrita, hola. I have one in my, in my, in this, in this desk. I have this. Hold on, let me see, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna stop sharing here. Oh, okay, yes, of course. This is, this is for, for, for put in the gas station, in the office, in the, in the, yes, in, the, in this place we have a gas station. Okay, all right. So mm -hmm. that sign, Daniel, is, uh, is there, right? Yeah, yes. excellent, very nice, of course. So here we have this one, guys. I was just sharing this. Okay, so if you see this, you know that it's something not, good going on here okay now we have this one yo sé que las letritas chiquitas no se ven pero no importa lo que quiero que veamos es las rojas this is spillages cuando algo se derrama derramamientos all right can be oil water i don't know whatever liquid all right cables igual que los cords verdad que ya sea cords o cable es lo mismo cables look at him he's tripping all right porque están todos los cables ahí obstruction all right, maybe you're walking y de repente lo que decía Carla, ah, no, lo que decía Vanesita, eh, es algo que está, está obstruyendo, the exit, all right? So, uh, obst obstructions, flooring, igual, allí, uh, Walter nos decía que baja las gradas corriendo, please don't do that, <laughs> all right? So, here we have flooring, igual, por lo general, las gradas tienen que tener esas anti-slip, uh, Tape, all right, but some of them don't. Footwear, all right. Yo sé en ciertas um, factories no le permiten entrar con cierto zapato, verdad, por precaución. All right, so I know that for a fact. Lightning, all right, puede ser que usted tenga que bajar gradas si está bien oscuro. All right, so you have to be careful with that. Entonces, estas son like preventing slips, trips, and falls that we were talking about, okay? All right, guys, any questions about this vocabulary? No, we're fine? Okay, very good. Um, Daniel, in, in your company, do you have to have a special footwear or it's not necessary? Yes, it's necessary. It's not necessary. It's mandatory. Okay, very good. Uh, Carla yeah. Vanessa, in the factory, is it mandatory to have a special footwear? And the production still no. All the operators uh, wear usually shoes, okay. but the person that, that are handling boxes or driving uh, trucks yes. inside the, the company, they are wearing. Yeah, they have to wear special. Especially yes. Wear. All yeah. right, very good. Uh, Chamba, in your work, do you have to wear special footwear or is not necessary? It's not necessary, miss. Okay, all right, very good. What about Rafael? In your company, Rafael, do you have to wear a special footwear or is not necessary? Uh, my workplace, yes, it's mandatory. I use the uh, cheese. Okay, all right. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. Let's see. I'm going to take the second attendance. So uh, give me a second here. 
Let's see. We have Abner Eli. I'm here. Yeah, Abner, very nice. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Okay. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Eh, Daniel Antonio Luna, sorry. <laughs> Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Eh, Kevin Esteban Mejíbar Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José. Present teacher. Leti, Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Miss. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. All right. Uh, Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. And David Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present, teacher. All right. Okay. All right. So here we're going to continue then, guys, with the rest of the book here. All right. It says unit four, exercise one and two, page 35. Ahorita comparto. All right. So here we have, I will be able to provide safety measures to control risks at the production plant. Number one, are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Would, would a safety program prevent accidents? What type of rules do you think a safety plan has? All right, let's read the conversation first and then we're going to answer those questions. It says, read the following conversation between employees at a manufacturing plant. They are talking about the new company's safety measure plan. We have Joel and Diego. Gee, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, store stools in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away? Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit a scattered tools outside the tool room, okay? Let's see, two volunteers, please. Joel and Diego, I need volunteers to read this for me. Me. Okay, Chamba, you're number one. Me, teacher. All right, very good. Can you can you be Diego? Después va Mariano con Joel again. All right. Okay, guys, start. Gee, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are any safety measures in the plant. <clears throat> You've got to be kidding. That are those measure, measured about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, protective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plugs, store tools in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit skater tools outside the tool room. Excellent, very good, thank you. 
Mariano, be Joel, please. I need another one to be Diego. Who's Diego? Uh, Ever? Oh, Ever, no problem. Ever, did you raise your hand? Oh, no. Yes, it's not so much. Okay, so you can be Diego and then Danny, you're going to be Joel on the next round, okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, Jeannie, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection globe. Sorry, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, store tools in proper locations. So my goods and the other tools I left around there have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plane has been designed to pro prohibit the scatter tools Outside the tool room. Excellent, thank you. All right, Danny, you're going to be Joel, and I need the last Diego. Me, teacher. Excellent, go ahead. So, Daniel, you may start. Hey, uh, G, how my safety Google's been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your Google's have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You will go be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plugs, store tools in proper location. So my Google and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Excellent, thank you. All right, very good. Now, G is an expression. Es como, híjole. All right, S is G. All right, G, I, I have, have my safety goggles, not Googles. All right, Google is el buscador, Google. And este es goggles. All right, have my safety goggles, son como lentes. All right, have my, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. Es como que está bromeando, en serio? All right, you've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, the store tools in proper locations. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit a scattered tools outside the tool room. All right, aparte de G, aparte you've got to be kidding, hay algo más ahí on the conversation that you don't know? Scatter, algo así, ¿cómo se dice? Scatter, scatter es como regados, como que lo han dejado scatter. tirado por ahí, mm. regados por ahí. Uh -huh. Ok. Any other? Teacher, reflective vest, pero yes. con 10. Reflective vest, sí, sí. Ajá, vest. Vest es paleco. Es el... Oh, okay. Okay. Huh? Okay, okay. All right, very good. Helmet, entendemos que es helmet? Yes. No, yeah. no teacher, you know. El casco. Oh, helmet casco. es el casco. Ah, helmet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Rubber boots, entendemos boots, sí. Rubber? No, teacher. Botas de hule. De hule, botas de hule, rubber boots. Uh-huh. 
earplugs son los que ponemos aquí adentro de los, de los, de los oídos, all right? Bueno, de oídos. Ajá. Uh, yeah. All right. Aparte de eso, everything is fine? Uh, no, how been taken away? Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the meaning? Have been taken, taken away is como se los han llevado. Y es que te res que no sé. En la última donde dice scattered. Scattered. Scattered es regados, así como se los deja tirado. Ah, ya, ya lo vi. Scattered. All right. Okay. Lo que está en negrito, por ejemplo, have been stolen, have been taken away, es lo que vamos a ver ya eh, más a fondo mañana, lo vamos a empezar a ver ahora antes de terminar clase y has been designed, all right? What is it? ¿Cómo se estructura? ¿Para qué sirve? ¿Cómo se llama? We're going to see that, all right? Pero before we do that, vamos a irnos a los grupos y vamos a irnos al número uno de esta página. Exercise one, page 35. Como grupo, I want you to answer those questions. Number one, are manufacturing plants. All right, estamos hablando aquí de eh, plantas donde manufacturan algo, ya sea ropa, zapatos, cajas, vehicles, whatever. All right, manufacturing plants, dangerous places to work. No me voy a poner solo sí. Si me pone sí, explíqueme por qué. Si me pone no, explíqueme por qué. All right. Number two, would a safety program prevent accidents? Igual, si usted dice que sí, ¿por qué? Si usted dice que no, ¿por qué no? Y la última, what type of rules do you think a safety plan has? All right, usted me explica ahí qué tipo de reglas o de, uh, yeah, items a safety plan has. No es que quiero que me hagan uno, es que qué tipo de reglas tiene ese safety plan, all right? Terminan esa y luego nos pasamos a number three. Eh, para contestar esas tres, what items is Joel looking for? What is the new safety measure about? And in your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plant? La tres no está en la, en la conversación. Se dice, in your opinion. No en la opinión de Joel, no en la opinión de Diego. It's your opinion, okay? All right, so we work on exercise one and exercise three together in the groups. Claudita, no sé si ya puede participar. Bueno, igual me avisa Claudita para no dejar ahí a nadie solo otra vez. All right, very good. No que usted fue Claudita, sino que para los demás compañeros. Ok, no se preocupe, Claudia. Ya lo muevo, Oscar, oye. Oh, no. Bueno. Ya los voy a ir, ir a los demás asignando de grupos. No problem, I work alone. <laughs> no, I'll move you, Oscar. You don't have to be forever alone, Oscar. A ver, Abner, can you work in a group? Yeah. Excellent. So I'm going to send you to Oscar's group. Ya va a tener compañero Oscar, así que hoy sí se puede ir a su sala. Anita, can, uh, can you work in a group right now, Anita? Maybe not. Carla Vanessa, ¿en qué grupo estaba? Con Rafael me dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Vaya, Carlita, ya la mandé, Carla. Eh, Leti, can you work? Chamba, can you work in a group? Yes, miss. Excellent, Chamba, very good. Ahorita lo mando al grupo 2. Vanesita Reyes, can you work in a group now? Yes. Yes. Voy, voy. Anita me habló. Sí. Ok, right. ahorita, ahorita. Lo manda, la voy a mandar con Mariano, Anita. Y Domingo. Chamba ya lo mandé a su grupo, Chamba. Ok. Ana también a usted ya la mandé. Leti, ¿puede participar en grupo Leti?
Teacher. Hi, Leti. He tenido problemas con el internet en toda la sesión de la clase. Ok, Leti. Pero ahorita se le escucha bien. Sí, ahorita sí. Me extraño. Ok, no se preocupe, tranquila. Thank you, Leti. All right, let's see. Um, we were talking about the three questions that we had in number one. Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Danny, what do you think? Danny and Debbie, right? You guys were working together on that one? Yes, teacher, Jorge. We, with Jorge, yes. Okay, all right. So okay. what is your conclusion about that one? Okay, uh, our conclusion is uh, yes, the manufacturing plants are dangerous place because right. in all plants, all, all plants, uh, the machinery used for production are dangerous okay. uh, because uh, and must be used with proper protection. Okay. To to avoid to avoid damage. Okay, to avoid any any risks or hazards, any, right? Any risk. Yes. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Anybody else? Another group about question number one from exercise one. Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Yes. Why or no? Why not? Anybody? I, I think yes, teacher. Why? Because in the manufacturing plants have a. Um, many different types of electrical machines. Okay. And this increase the, the probability to have a, a risk. Okay, all right. Mariano, you were in group one, right? With Domingo and, and Anita, right? Okay. Um, only Domingo and I. Oh, really? Okay, I guess Anna was busy right now, that's fine. Okay, let's see, anybody else, any other group for question number one? Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Anybody else that wants to talk about that one? Let me see here. Um, Carla, Vanessa, and Rafael, what do you guys think? Uh, we think that yes, Rafa. Why? Ah, uh, well, uh, because uh, Daniel say, uh, you know, manufacturing plants, uh, there are heavy machinery mm -hmm. that can cause uh, any harmful to to people if they don't uh, know how to use it. Okay, so that means that these manufacturing plants, they must have trainings for employees, right? And constant trainings, not only one training and that's it, but constantly be like uh, training the employees, all right? So that would be something that these type of places should do. All right, what about number two? Would, would a safety program prevent accidents? What do you guys think? Anybody from any group? Yes, the problem accident uh, because uh, they follow the rules and prevent the event. Okay, yeah, for sure, Oscar, very good. Anybody else want to comment on question number two? The question two, teacher, uh, okay. yes, because they protect, they reduce the factor risk. Okay. All right, very good. Yes, they reduce the factor of risk. Very good. Anybody else, Vanessa Reyes, what do you think? Yes, I work with Oscar and for us, it can prevent accident. And if you follow the rules that program prevent accident says, and if you do the things right, you can avoid wherever accident. Right, okay, excellent, thank you. Now, the last question here, it said, um, what type of rules do you think a safety plan has? 
Anybody want to comment on question number three? Steps. The steps, go ahead, Vanessa. <laughs> steps about what do we have to do in emergency, for example, in an earthquake, okay. risk map, okay. and emergency numbers. Okay, all right, very good. Those might be some things that you need to include on that one. Yes, thank you, Vane. What else were you gonna say, Daniel? Um, one of the rules is, I think it's always weird uh, equipment personal protection okay. where is required. Okay, all right. And sure. a, a staff, a staff training, mm -hmm. because uh, it's, uh, I don't know, every month or every, every, every three or four months. Okay. Is it so, is it pending? Mm -hmm. Right, so regular training should be one of them too, right? Okay, very good. Anybody else about question three? Uh, the number three, teacher? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. uh, the repair use mm -hmm. of the protective uh, equipment. Yes, 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 equipment. Very good. Mm, equipment. Uh, <laughs> respect uh, the rest areas yes all right very good okay um uh, evacuation protocol excellent yes of course very good domingo very nice now do everybody it doesn't matter if i mean not only in manufacturing plants but in every office do you think everybody follows these rules or these protocols or this um, safety plans, do you think everybody follows them? No, yes, teacher. no. In no. my company, yes. <laughs> uh... Okay, Domingo, why? Why do you say that in your company? Yes. Domingo? Yes, I may. It's for sure. <laughs> and in the company, Champan don't follow, he said. In your company, ever know they don't follow, not everybody follows the rules? No, for, for example, in the company, in the company, Champan don't follow, he said. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Okay, Champa, why not? Why they don't follow the rules? Oh, yes. In, in my company, all. All the employees follow the rules. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. But some people were saying, no, not everybody. All right. Why do you think not everybody follows rules or the safety plans? I mean, they're talking about our own safety. Shouldn't everybody follow them? Uh, teacher, ever, uh, all the companies. Uh, should have a, a warning if you don't follow the rules. Oh, oh my goodness, Debbie. All right, <laughs> so they should have a warning. Okay, yes. Okay, interesting. Okay. Que hagan caso. <laughs> and even though, Debbie, maybe some people won't. <laughs> okay, now in exercise three, page 35, we were talking about what items is, jo is Joel looking for. What is Joel looking for? In the conversation. He's looking for his safety goggles. 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 Yes, goggles. he's looking for his safety goggles. Very good. All right. What about number two? What is the new safety measure about? What is the new me uh, safety measure about on, on their company? It's required to wear body protection and store tools in the proper location. Okay, all right, very good. And now the last thing, mm -hmm. yes? Miss? Yes. What is the best form to, to say this? Required to wear accessories protection, body protection, or, or what? Or um, how? Body protection is fine, yeah. Yeah, you can say that, Tamba. I think it's fine. 
Okay. All right, very good. And the last question before we go, in your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plant? Why not? Because the tools can get lost. Okay, yeah. So, so someone can trip. Okay. In the, in the, in the, in the shop or the, the tool room. Okay. Mm -hmm. It looks uh, very messy. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. All right. So tomorrow, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about passive voice. Si no estoy mal, ya hemos hablado anteriormente sobre passive voice eh, con algunos que hemos venido desde hace un tiempito. So we're going to review what passive voice is. Y para otros puede ser que sea tema nuevo. All right. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow. All right, I'm going to take attendance so you guys may go and rest. So here we have Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. I'm here. Thank you, Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Andrade Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present miss. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Ana, thank you. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora. Present. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz and Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. All right, guys. Thank, so, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with me another night. I will see you all tomorrow. All right. So uh, have a great night. Rest. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Jorgito. Descanse. Gracias, igual, cuídense. Bye, thank you. Carlita.